Now we come to planting up tomatoes and I've got to say that if you've got a heated greenhouse you can actually be planting your tomatoes up much much earlier than anybody with a cold greenhouse without any heat. So if you've got heat you could be planting up now. You could plant up at the end of February. As long as it's a well lit greenhouse with plenty of sunshine with heat in there you can plant your crops earlier. But if you're like me you only have a cold greenhouse then I would think that the earliest time you can plant up and it's been shown by experimentation too is about mid-April without any heat and then the crop should be adequately protected with the glass around it to continue growing into the summer months. But let me show you what I want to do. One method of planting up tomatoes is to use a traditional grow bag. Been around for many years and a highly successful way of growing. And here we've got a, a lovely um, grow bag. But when you get the grow bag home from the garden centre, it's already been compressed in a stack. So you need to kind of just um, loosen it all up inside. Shake it well about and then you won't be planting into compressed peat. Make sure it's all evenly distributed along the bag. And then rooting will be so much easier than if it's solid and compacted. And when you've done that, the next thing is to do is to take a pair of scissors and to follow the guidelines here for cutting out the squares at the top. So pierce it with your scissors, come along like that, same with the middle one, if you want to have a middle tomato. Quite simple really. And then you've got a position at the end here for a third tomato. When you've got to that stage, simply tuck this fold underneath. And then it's out of the way. And then you've got your three positions already marked out for you for growing your tomatoes, where to plant them. Now, it's quite okay uh, to position three plants in there if you want, like so. But if you want to grow maybe extra large tomatoes, then leave the middle one out. And then the plant's got more room all around. I think if it's just a single bag, then you're okay to put three plants in, as long as it's well lit all around for them to get plenty of light. But before we do that, can I just suggest that you cut off the bottom of the pot? Because I'm going to suggest that you actually keep the plant in its pot when you plant it. But we want to allow it to root into the compost, so we're going to cut off the bottom of the pot. And again, um, an ordinary pair of scissors, Just come round the edge of the pot and remove the bottom like that to expose the roots. Do the same with this and I've already partly prepared this so you can uh, see the job. Remove that container bottom and then finally this one again take off the bottom and then the plants really are ready for planting. We're going to keep them in those containers. So, uh, starting in the middle, uh, just remove a little bit of compost. Like that. And settle the plant into that position. And then return the compost around there. This way, your plant is elevated, the neck of the plant isn't going to get over wet because it's elevated, but yet the, um, the roots growing out will be able to forage through the whole of that bag and into the compost. Um, do the same with this one. Now let me show you one technique you can do to support your um, tomato plants properly. You'll normally have a wire above your tomato crop at six foot or seven foot above the tomato crop. And I've got a string here that I want to show you. And basically, you can set up your wire overhead. You can have your string which needs to come down to the 
uh, bag top there and have a little bit of spare because we want to take out that little bit of compost to receive the plant. Put the string down into the bottom, just under the plant like that. Then put the plant on top, like that. And then return the compost, firm it down, the bit of string stays there. And then basically, you've got your tomatoes planted in the grow bag and you'll have a string for each tomato plant. And as the tomato plant grows, you basically wrap the tomato plant around the string, like so. And then the plant will hold on to that and support itself as it grows. But every few days or every week, you're going to have to wrap the plant around the string. And that's the modern way of supporting tomato plants rather than using canes. By all means use canes, nothing wrong with that at all. But this is simpler, it's cheaper and uh, probably more efficient. If you don't want to put the string under the base of the plant there, then what you can do, and again it's quite simple, is just to uh, wrap the uh, string around the base of the plant and put a little tie at the base of the plant. Now not an, a, a tight tie, a fairly loose tie, allowing for the expansion of the thickness of the stem. And that's just another way that you can affix this string for the plants to grow. Remember, you've got to put the string and the plants around each other. Plants, uh, tomatoes don't grow naturally themselves. And then just tidy the job up and then water the plants in and there will be sufficient feed in there for a month or probably five or six weeks. And the time we start to add additional feed, things like tomorite will be ideal, then we can put that on from when the first truss has set its flowers and is starting to swell its early fruits. And then feed on then every week or 10 days after that at regular intervals. And then we should encourage the plant to grow without any hitches to its development.